going. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Tishman Spire, the building buyer. You might know me from, so, oh, I got some fans. You might know me from famous buildings around New York, such as the MetLife building. Go Snoopy, huh? I'm here to talk to you today because I just have one simple message for my years of New York real estate. Don't listen to Tokyo. New York real estate is perfect. Am I right? Okay, I was expecting applause. It's fine. <laughs> Look, if you guys listen to Tokyo, I will go from a 12-figure man to a high 11-figure boy. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm a man. I'm not a boy. Okay, I'm a man. Look, if you redistrict, then Brownstones will pop up where Chase Banks and Starbucks were. All right? <laughs> Who doesn't love getting a coffee and then getting denied for a loan and then getting two more coffees to wash down the loan? <laughs> Come on! And look, if you redistrict, that means people will live closer to their work. That's terrible. Midtown workers won't have to go all the way back to Hoboken on the beautiful subway system, right? <laughs> Again, it was expecting applause. This is long. I haven't taken the subway since my first billion, so I don't know what it's like. But I imagine it's fun. <laughs> it seems nice. Look, if we get rid of the subway, all right, or if we get rid of people commuting to work, the bottom will fall out of the podcast market. <laughs> it's done. It's done. No one will listen to your true crime show now, Derek. Okay? So look, ride the subway, listen to some true crime, true crime, and maybe see some true crime. I don't know. I haven't taken the subway. <laughs> this is important. If we redistrict, we will destroy some of the most historic parts of New York City. Like the neighborhood we all love most, say it with me, the financial district. <laughs> Where will my son Fidei and my daughter ROI play? <laughs> they love that bull's testicles. <laughs> what will you do if there's no statue of the bull? <laughs> How will they play with the testicle? <laughs> this is the important thing. If we build big houses next to small houses, then when Godzilla comes, not if, when Godzilla comes, <laughs> the army won't know where to go to defend. <laughs> Godzilla typically, right now, would go to Times Square. Obvious target, <laughs> obvious defense. But he could go to Bedstein. Or he could go all the way to Hoboken. The military spread too thin. We won't. <laughs> so take it from me. A man who's been in New York real estate for many decades and has everything to lose. Don't listen to Tokyo. But everything's great just the way it is. <laughs>